Hello everybody in YouTube land. We're back here checking out the uh, the new shop. This is my saw setup, my, my rack here where I like to like to put all kinds of things and it's very useful. This grid, if you can find this stuff, I got it. I got, I got a got a bunch years ago from Pat Smart. Um, you see their handy tool hanger. Handy. Very, very nice stuff. You can find this display grid uh, pretty much anywhere if you look hard enough. I I run across it at <clears throat> used, uh, we have a reused recycle store here. This is the shop space set up for working in. It's, it's a very nice space now. I have, uh, there's an extra heater there. I put that on when I first come in if it's cold. Here is the magical heater box that I built. You see the tiki in the back. There's welcome bears. There's all kinds of bears here. I put my glue in here to warm it. Just in like 10 minutes, this is already nice and warmed up. So the thing about that is you want to be careful not to overheat the carvings once you get it warmed up and, and going well. And see, I put an extra storage rack up there for extra stuff. Um, probably in a little bit, I will put the circulator fan back on there to get the air moving quicker and, and kind of cool it down a little bit. Um, moving air uh, breaks up moisture which is kind of important with drying carvings. Here's more racks. So we're gonna work on the owl that uh, months ago I started making a video for. And uh, I'm gonna use two bits. I made these myself out of uh, drill bits. Just carpenters paddle bits for setting doors and drilling holes for for uh, wiring and two by four studs. Now there's that bit. And then there is this one, the smaller one. Okay, uh, I use these for making owl eyes. You see the, the smaller one fits into the bigger one. Okay, so that's what we're gonna work on. So I'll I'll put a put a spot with the bigger one, locate them, then the smaller one, and then I uh, then I'll take one of these bits here and I will plug a little hole into that, and that'll be that. Okay, hope everyone's having a good day, and uh, carve, carve away. It's bit. So that was the smaller half. So now we have, you see it leaves a nice little ring. Sometimes it gets a little furry, usually just flick it off. Sometimes the wood will break, so you wanna, you wanna leave plenty of wood to build up this way to work with. Try it again if you have to. Now this. Now this here, I'm going to just plug the centers. So there's our owl eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do here, you saw in the other video, this was, I just got the form. I'm just going to make a a little notch here for 
for the for the top shoulder feathers and then you have metal feathers and then you have the wingtip feathers so i make those lines first sometimes on those lines you only need the shoulder and and one set of bottom feathers and then you have your tail um it's really whatever you feel like it's use your imagination and kind of go with the flow of it uh, the the two styles that i usually use first is first is the quick and easy just hash mark feathers it it, it works pretty good real quick and easy just little diamond patterns um, I I use this one and I use the I call it the wavy pattern um, I use them both because they both sell they people like either one I do it depending on how I feel about what I want to put on the carving this is uh, the good thing about this is you can continue that line right to the bottom for your other feathers You're starting at the very top or the very end of something and you're you're working back this way you're working down from it and you're you're just pulling that saw you're 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 holding the saw gently and and you're kind of pulling it like this and you'll see that the 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 preceding set of wavy feathers works off of the first set so getting your first set worked in there you can hold the saw like this or like this I prefer it upside down just because it's easier quicker for me to do it that way um, don't put yourself in harm's way just relax if you have to lay the piece on its side and clamp it down then do that or if you have a jaw horse sometimes those work good um, this is my preferred method little hash marks <clears throat> this is I actually normally do it left to right um, but for the sake of the camera I can't I can't be here and have you see exactly what I'm doing so. Just took my time. Now I can show you here. It's a really cool motion to practice. You go down and up, down and up, down, and you're dragging. You're dragging that chain um, and it, it takes a lot of practice see you can see the difference here when I go left to right they come out pretty cool and nice looking there there that's acceptable but you can see there's a difference in the direction that you go and that's all how you hold the saw how comfortable you got so there's our different there's our different feather patterns. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and the support. Um, like I said, uh, I've been going through a bit of a hard time with things and uh, 
back up and and carving again. Uh, and yeah, just just keep going. Don't don't let other people get you down. Don't let other situations get you down. Try to focus on on what you're good at, what you're into doing, and just try to keep up with the demand because there is a demand out there uh, if you work hard enough at things. Just real quick tip I want to show uh, using the pen bur uh, saber. I think cuts all makes one too. What I did here, I went in. You just go in a little bit under the toes, round, smooth the area in between. It right, makes the feet pop out a little bit. some burning now. Well, we're gonna try gonna try a little helmet cam deal here. Just show the burn on the uh on the feathers. See how it comes out. And there's Mr. Owl. You see those wavy feathers? The burn. Makes a really cool effect. And there we go. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that little short video. Real quick and clean, real simple. I went back in with the with this bit and just touched the centers of the eyes up a little bit and left a little tiny bit of burn in there for just a little bit of character look. You see those feet, just that touch of flame, I just barely touched some flame to it, really makes them stand out. You can get in here and clean too if you want to be, I will probably do that, clean the base a little bit. Just because I like that look better. But there you go. Hope that helped everyone. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.